Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to this video. The main topic of this video is nothing but the orthogonal matrix. We'll be proving one result on this matrix that the set of columns of this matrix is going to be an orthonormal set. To prove this result, we should know few definitions. So let's just uh, have our pre-requirements. Every student should know what is an orthogonal set before understanding the proof. So what is an orthogonal set? A set is said to be an orthogonal if inner product with every other element is 0. Right? And when do you say a set is orthonormal? If it satisfies two conditions. Inner product with other element is 0 and the inner product with itself is 1. Right? So in this case, we don't talk about whether the inner product with itself is 1, 2, 3. It could be anything. But when we say it is an orthonormal set, the inner product with other elements should be 0 and the inner product with itself should be 1. Right? So what we want to prove? The columns of orthogonal matrix satisfy this property. What is that property? Inner product of that column with other column should be 0 and inner product of that column with itself should be 1. Now I use the word orthogonal matrix. We should know what is an orthogonal matrix, right? What is an orthogonal matrix? A matrix is said to be orthogonal if if you multiply that matrix with its transpose, it is going to be identity. In the simple word, we say that it transpose is actually its inverse, right? Now, if we have this thing in our hand, we can start the proof. What is my claim? My claim is to prove that the columns of orthogonal matrix is an orthonormal set. While seeing this proof or understanding the proof, student can think about how the same proof will work or the similar proof will work if the rows ki jagah pe column ke baare mein baat kare. Right? So, let's just work on this. Now, I want to prove the columns of an orthogonal matrix is an orthonormal set. So, first of all, I take any orthogonal matrix. A is any orthogonal matrix. I want to talk about the column of this matrix. Right? So, I will just say let A be the matrix with this is my first column, I am denoting it by C1. The second column, I am denoting it by C2 and there would be rest of the column. And the last column would be Cn. So, it is an n cross n matrix. So, what I have written over here, the C1 represent what? C1 is a column matrix. It would have n rows, one column. This is n rows, one column. n rows, one column, right? Ultimately, together, they will make a n cross n matrix A for me. So, how do my A looks? A looks like C1 column 1, C2 is a column 2 dot 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 Cn. Student should not get confused with this notation. Over here it is not a row matrix. These are not elements of the matrix. These are the columns. Right? So, ultimately it is an n cross n matrix. So, I will write it like this. So, now the confusion should go. My C1 is not an element. C1 is a column. Right? And how do you take transpose of any matrix? Whatever is your row, that should become column. And whatever is your column, that should look like a row now. Right? For an example, suppose if I have this as a matrix. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what I observe, this is my C1. This is my C2. Right? So, this matrix is written as C1, C2. How the transpose of this matrix A looks like? The transpose looks like 1, 2, 3, 4. So, how do I write this? I write it like this is my C1 but now like a row. Now, this is like a column, right? So, this was nothing but 2 cross 1. My C1 is a 2 cross 1 matrix like this, 1, 2. But what I see, that become a row over here like this. Right? So, can I say my A transpose looks like, now this is C1. What I observe here is nothing but the transpose of it. So, it becomes C1 transpose. Whatever was my first column, if I do a transpose of it, that will fill my first row. Similarly, this would be my second row. Right? So, my A is this, A transpose is this. So, in this case, what would be my A transpose? My A transpose would look like whatever is my first column, if I do transpose of it, that becomes my row. So, it is C1 transpose. This is a C2 transpose dot 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 Cn transpose. Right? So, again, what is this matrix? 
is it n cross 1 matrix no it is a n cross n matrix there are n rows and each row is a row matrix with n elements so it would have n columns as well right so what we got is we just wrote the notation of a and a transpose on the next slide we will be starting our proof so now what is there in my hand i know that my a looks like this c1 c2 dot 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 c n it is an n cross n matrix my a transpose looks like c1 transpose c2 transpose dot 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 c n transpose right and it is again an n cross n matrix what we know since my a is an orthogonal matrix my a transpose times a must be an identity matrix everything is n cross n right so this is also n cross n so i just write the elements right so i just write the elements like it is c1 transpose c2 transpose dot 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 c and transpose and over here i'll write it like c1 c2 dot 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 cn again to make it clear this two are n cross n matrix it may looks like row and column matrix no but they are n cross n matrix when i write c1 i am writing the entire column when i write c1 transpose i am writing the entire row and that is actually same as what we know ultimately the answer is going to be what ultimately the answer is nothing but the identity matrix right so it is one on the diagonal and rest all are zero right other things are zero but how do you multiply two matrix right suppose so the product is going to be an n cross n matrix right since this is matching i can do the product the product is going to be an n cross n matrix so the answer is n cross n matrix and this n cross n matrix is obtained how what we do is we multiply the first row with first column so that is nothing but c1 transpose with c1 okay let's just see the c1 transpose with c1 in the our previous example c1 transpose would look like this it is like a1 dot 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 an right c1 transpose look like this c1 s look like this a1 dot 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 a if i multiply this this is actually what this is nothing but a1 square plus a2 square plus dot 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 plus an square right can you observe what is this actually can i say this is nothing but if this is c1 and this is also c1 but this is transpose right can i say this is nothing but the inner product of c1 with c1 only right because if my c1 is nothing but this if i take inner product with itself i get a1 square plus a2 square dot 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 a square so whatever is my first element c1 transpose c1 i write it it is same as inner product of c1 with c1 the first element would be inner product of c1 with c1 right let's see of the second element second element is nothing but first row second column so again it would be nothing but c1 transpose with c2 and what we observe that would be nothing but like in a product of c1 with c2 right so the second element would be c1 with c2 in a product dot 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 the last element would be c1 in a product with cn similarly over here it would be c2 in a product with c1 c2 in a product with c2 dot 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 C two in a product with C n, right? So I just rub the things that I could rub. Okay. Similarly, you can work on all. The last element is going to be C n in a product with C n. I hope P Y student can get it out how I am writing this, right? Now, what is the next thing left? Last and the most important thing left is now we just have to compare two matrix. This is an n cross n matrix. This is an n cross n matrix. Both are equal. So the first entry is same as the first entry. the second entry in the diagonal is same as the second entry in the diagonal similarly all the entry in diagonal should be one so what i observe is in a product of ci with itself is going to give me one so one of the property of being an orthonormal set is satisfied that means in a product with itself is one the first property was 
inner product with other should be zero and you can observe that as well if i try to see if i try to see this c1 inner product with c2 is zero c1 inner product with cn other element is zero if you see anywhere other than the diagonal the combination would be like ci is getting inner product with cj and on the other matrix the answer is zero so whenever i is not equal to j the answer is coming zero right so by comparing two matrix you can write this therefore the collection of all columns c1 c2 dot 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 cn is an orthonormal set okay i hope the proof is clear to you if you still have any doubt please write in the comment section and i request you to think about the what would be the proof if i say the same statement about the rows okay thank you for watching this video till then bye bye